let me ask you this because you say you started off as, as a rapper. Yeah. Like, like, how did you make mm-hmm. the transition from being a rapper and starting to act? Like, did you want to act as nah. a young kid? Like, how nah. did you get into that? I was, uh, like I said, I was doing the music. So, like, how I got into acting, um, 2014, man, um, I was growing my dress at the time, and I had went into the Christian Field Styles Bar. Okay. It's on, like, Cottage or something like that, 60-something Cottage off Cottage. And um, I'm going in there, man. I go in there for some information about growing the locks. So um, they was in there talking about Vulture City, too. Right. Um. So I'm like, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I, like, I seen the movie about the city. I saw it, but um, especially growing up in the low end, I, I saw, I most definitely saw the movie, but they was in there talking about it. I, I had no idea how much as it grown and being so big as it is now. Yeah, that shit took yeah. off. So I'm like, all right, so when they in there talking about the um, auditions or whatever, so the guy asked me, like, um, you should come, you know, you doing the music too, you should, um, come and audition yeah so i'm like all right cool so i gave some thought man and i'm sitting at the crib and i'm like man should i just down the street should i just go to the audition you know in a few days or whatever so um i'm like fuck it i go so i end up going and i miss this long line so now i'm like damn what i get myself into like should i just say fuck it and go back and real and rethink it so I'm like, no, nah, you know what? I'm going to just stand in the line and do it. So I'm seeing people in line. They got their photos. They photos. Yeah, they ready. You know, they ready. Like, they really do it. So I'm, like, standing there, you know, looking like, okay, I'm um, I'm this local rapper. You know, I'm I'm rocking with Killer Clan. You know, shout out to Bo Deal. I'm rocking with Killer Clan. So I know I'm, you know, get something. So um, I go in and we they hand you the script. Go down, you know, go over it. So now I'm looking at it like, oh shit, like this shit for real. This man. shit for real. So um, by me not taking it serious, I'm like, God, let me just joint through it, you know. So when my number was called, I went in there. Now I'm going in the room. They got you know Marcus Carruthers. They got Sam on the camera, and they got you know people sitting there. And I just joined it out. He, you know, read it to me, and I'm like, all right. So it was like, when I left, I was still like, man, there ain't nothing I wanted to do. I was just doing it anyway. Right. So um, the crazy part, bro, the crazy part about this story is I was, I was, I set up a photo shoot and, um, to promote some music. I do the photo shoot. I threw my kids in it. You know what I'm saying? My son. So the director hit me up, Marcus Carruthers hit me up on a, on Facebook, like, uh, this 2014, like, um, that's your son? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's my son. And he like, um, um, I want to use him for Vault- the Vulture Vault- City. So, you know, in the back of my head, like, he ain't even auditioned. Right, like, what, what you like, mean? What you mean? <laughs> like, what you mean you want to use my son? So I talked to his mom and, um, she was like, all right, cool, like, let's do it. So um, we take my son on set, and, um, you know, he's doing his thing or whatever like that. And, you know, when you go on set and you go on set, so you, now you're learning, you you watching. You know, I'm sitting back watching how things go. And um, one day somebody, like, that he was using for background didn't show up. So he was like, come here, you think I could use you? I was like, all right, cool, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, bro. Right, facts. So um, it went from that to, oh, man, I need you something else. The audience ain't going to know, you know. I ain't going to know nothing about movies or how they do the editing and nothing. He's like, they ain't going to know, they ain't going to know. So I just started doing different pieces, and um, I got a little comfortable. So um, after that, I just ended up doing, like, smaller background roles, like, okay, um, Empire, stuff like that. So, and years later, boom, up until now, he working on Vulture City, which they turned City of Vulture City 2 into a movie. It was called City of Vultures. And then years later, which is now, he started working on City of Vultures 2. 
And this when a pandemic and things is going on. So right. now I'm I'm working. I'm working at DTLR and stuff like that. You know, I always, you know, kept a job and stuff too, though. So I'm at work. People starting to notice you. Yeah, so not even, no, not even that yet. It was, um, because, you know, it was back in 2014 when my son did it. Right. And I was doing the background. So now working with DTLR and stuff like that over the years and um, the pandemic hit. Now they looting and, you know, stuff like it's crazy. So now I'm sitting out a job, right? So now, I'm, you know, the music over the years, not how it used to be, you know, they got the, you know, the GD, the BD thing going yeah, on. And I'm changed. trying to figure out, I'm getting older. I'm trying to figure out what's, what's left for me, man. So I'm give, basically giving up. You know, I'm like, man, I ain't make it yet. I'm almost, you know, this. I'm not finna be pushing this music, you know. So... I just started doing TikTok videos, bro, like showing a different side of me that only like if a female like my ladies, if you date me, you know that side of me, the goofy, the, you know, that side of me. So I just started expressing myself more. Did being you, me. Was you was you more comfortable with yeah. doing that because yeah. you had sat around the set for so long? Hell and, yeah. yeah. So I just started doing videos of the Bernie Mac skits and all that, and I'm hitting it on the money. I'm throwing the head on. I'm dressing up to the T. And now I'm posting on Facebook. Now I'm seeing people laughing and, oh, I'm making people day. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. Um, he posted again. Boom. Audition. City of Vultures 2. And I'm like, all right, I've been doing a lot of background work, and I'm, you know, just been watching and stuff. So he like, um, um, he called me like, I'm um, doing auditions and stuff like that. I, I want you to audition, you know, um, audition for the for this role. So I'm like, man, he not gonna pick me, you know. He not. I went through this before, you yeah. know. I, oh, man, he not gonna pick me, man. So I um did the did it in TikTok. I didn't even upload it to TikTok, but you know you could save it uh -huh. and um, delete it or whatever you do it. So I ended up just sending a video straight to him, and um, he posted it and let them decide. Once he posted, it and the people decided. That's when I was like, "Damn! Like, did I really get the part? Like, did I really get this part? Like, yeah, man, yeah. You know, you got it, you got it. I'm like, damn, no, man. Like in the back of my head, like, no, nah, man, I ain't never do this shit before. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I ain't never do this shit before. Like last year, like, and I told the story, like, damn, he ain't even picked me years ago. He picked my son, you know. And um, we always kept in touch, but not like that. So um, I did it, and shit, man. Once I saw myself on camera doing the little crying scene, I say, yep. <laughs> I got it. I got it. And um, the directors and everybody was telling me, the producers and the camera crew was telling me how, how good I was and how I should do it and how I should pursue it. And I'm like, all right, cool. So then after that, you know, remind you, I said I was doing background work for Empire, but the same people that I was doing it under, you know, the little agency or whatever. Mm -hmm. So they end up you know, sending out the things, and I just fill out, boom. And I go there, and I notice that full of, you know, in the background, they pick you for certain stuff to put you at. Yeah. So I noticed, like, I was getting picked for the Pacific spots to be on camera. So I'm like, damn, like, just they actually growing. picking me to be, like, on the camera. So I'm like, all right, cool. So when I got the email, boom. The shy. Feature role. I looked at it. I say, no. Nah, it's just some background work, you know. I ain't going to be talking, you know. So then I'm like, damn, when I get there, I'm like, okay. I'm finna do a little scene here. I ain't talking, but they actually finna, you know, get me seen. There's something, like. Right. So then um, they tell me how the, how the role is going to be. And, and I'm like, damn. I said, you're going to walk the old lady and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay. Then it aired. I'm like, oh, shit. There, there I am. Like, oh, shit. It's, it's happening. Like, I found something that actually loved me. You know, I loved music. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I actually found something that loved me, like embraced me. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? I come. I, I had this thing when I'd be like, oh, the tattoos, tattoos. I throw makeup on, cover it up. He's an actor. You know? So it used to bother me, but then I'm like, all right, I'll come in like this now. You know, whatever they're going to do, however they're going to change, let them change it. So then I just fell in love with it, bro. And after that, and then I sat back, and that's when it happened. Like I said, when I got hit up, and I'm like, damn, what now? Now I got, really, really got to decide, like, yeah, what I'm going to do. Am choices. I going to do this music shit and be in this shit, or I'm going to do this acting shit and be in this shit? So now I'm sitting in the hospital, like, and I'm noticing, like, certain people I was really rocking with. They want to know where to be found. They want to know You could chase all the women in the world. They ain't that neither. Okay? And I noticed, like, producers and writers and actors that I've met checking up on me more than the normal people that I was hanging around. Let me ask you this. A lot of people <laughs> a lot of people feel like when they, they put in those situations, they put in those situations for a reason. For a reason. And a lot of people say it's to know who with you and who, who against you. And it's a lot of people out here that to say, Man, I met this motherfucker a year ago and they riding harder than me harder yeah. for me for somebody that yeah. I known for ten years. Yeah. So do you feel like like I know getting shot ain't fun, bro. No, I know man. it ain't fun. It woke me up. But do you feel like you had to go through that to, to. to ne make the yeah. next step in life? Yeah. I most definitely had to, man. For real. I had to sit down, bro. I was doing too much, bro. Too much, man. And then that music is like take take toll of you. Especially if you're passionate about it. You're trying to let people know who you is and what you represent and what you're all about. Yeah. I ain't got to do that no more. I'm I'm comfortable, bro. For real, I'm comfortable with who I am and what I represent. So now, you know, take you back to what you what you said about how I was raised up. I tell you one thing, how I used to be like, I'm all for the hood. You know what I'm saying? I'm all for it. Yeah, I am. It's in me. I never portray where I'm from. But now I'm at the point in my life where is I want to give so much to them yeah. and to show them. Doing this, showing them, like, it's more to to that box we was in, bro.